Speaking of that sweet insider perch, uh, yesterday we played a video of Newt Gingrich going a little off the reservation, telling tales a little bit like, oh, I've been told not to uh, talk about um, draining the swamp anymore because, yeah, the Trump administration doesn't want to do that anymore. Well, Corey Lewandowski goes on to state-run media, Fox News, and reiterates this point after it's brought up. Now, let me make something clear. On Fox and Friends, because they're all friends, <laughs> they don't sandbag people. I mean, I did a hit on MSNBC this morning, and they wanted to, they gave me the topics. They even wanted to know my bullet points on it. I, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. It was not exactly my favorite. Hit. I don't know. Well. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Put, put, put it on the side. Um, but on Fox and Friends, so Corey Lewandowski uh, knew this question was coming and or asked for this question to come. And here he is. What's stunning about this, never seen a more explicit or what appears to be concerted effort to run from a campaign slogan that is fairly innocuous than uh, we're seeing with this drain the swamp. And when you look at his cabinet, Donald Trump's cabinet, I mean, you understand why it's a little bit embarrassing for them. It's just odd to hear them say like, oh, yeah, a chicken in every pot? Nah, not so much, because we're, we're vegan and we don't believe in pots. Here it is. Yesterday, Newt Gingrich came out and said uh, one of the terms that Donald Trump uh, really is known for is saying the term drain the swamp. The crowd went wild when he's when he in getting elected and still says it today. He says that the word that Newt Gingrich got from inside the camp, which you would know, was that they don't want to use that term anymore, that he doesn't really, he's not going to say it. And if you look at uh, some of the left are saying they're looking at some of the people in his cabinet and it doesn't reflect it. Where does drain the swamp stack up? Pause it, things pause it. Some on the left are saying this. Some on the left. I think really everybody outside of the cabinet. You've got Carl Icahn is advising him. But apparently can go out and trade on all the information he's advising him on. Yeah. You've got an entire um, a cabinet that's basically at this point refusing to disclose uh, their financial conflicts. Now, good for the Senate Democrats. They signed a letter following reports that President-elect Trump's cabinet nominees have not yet provided the relevant Senate committees with important documentation, such as completed financial disclosure statement, ethics agreements signed, <laughs> and more ahead of their confirmation hearings. Democratic ranking members of 16 committees today issued the following joint statement of principles for vetting the, the president-elect's uh, nominees. In other words, we're going to need the same type of vetting. I mean, you've got his whole family sitting in on, on meetings, though they're the ones who are supposedly going to help keep his business stuff out from conflict of interest. Peter Thiel apparently uh, g corralled a bunch of those tech guys after the meeting to get a bunch of, um, of support to have NASA officials be more pro-privatizing space travel. I mean, it goes on and on and on. You want to go into space? But Play ball. Here we go. Here's uh, Lewandowski explaining. The camp, which you would know, was that they don't want to use that term anymore, that he doesn't really, he's not going to say it. And if you look at uh, some of the left are saying they're looking at some, some of the, the people in his cabinet and it doesn't reflect it. Where does drain the swamp stack up on things to adhere to on the Trump camp? I pause it. That's the tell. Dum dum there sitting on the couch. Couldn't even figure out how to make this seem spontaneous. Who would ever ask a question? Where does drain the swamp stand on the list of priorities that you're talking about? What? No one would ever frame the question that way unless, of course, Corey Lewandowski had the answer framed that way. Go back to Dum Dum, uh, who couldn't even get, it, get his, his stupid propaganda pr uh, uh, correct. In his cabinet, and it doesn't reflect it. Where does drain the swamp stack up on things to adhere to on the Trump camp? 
Look, I think if you had to uh, put them in a chronological order, drain the swamp is probably somewhere down the bottom as opposed to getting tax reform done, making sure middle class people have more jobs, the, you know, making sure we're renegotiating our bad trade deals, ensuring that we're fixing Obamacare, uh, repairing and replacing that. All right. So, first of all, they brought, when they came in, they were bringing in their own new swamp. But the idea that chronologically... You, you, we don't have time to do that. First, what we need to do is bring in all the people who have stakes in all this. And then they're going to do the right thing for the first time ever. And then afterwards, after they do the right thing, then we'll get rid of them. It's bizarre. It's bizarre. It, what's funny to me is just that they feel like they have to worry about this with the way that the, the media is going to be covering this stuff. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Over. Subscri subscribe.